Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're out on the property today. I'm actually here after work. Um, just wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather. And I'm gonna start, this is gonna be the first of our series on cleaning up the forestry mulch field. Um, I'm gonna start out with the landscape rake. I'm gonna kinda clean it up, make sure it's good to go. And I'm gonna see um, about starting to kinda take some of the mulching and like the excess mulch and big stuff, try to uh, move it all into a pile um, and then the next step will be is kind of plow everything over plant seed and just kind of see how it takes off so this is going to be video one of a probably three or four part series but i'll just put you on a time lapse and we're just going to see what happens so the lord's blessed us with beautiful march weather and i'm just very thankful for that so figured i'd take advantage of it and uh yeah so stay tuned and follow along Ran out of gas. <laughs> That's okay. I knew I was running low. So I'll go pick up some gas. We'll pick this project up tomorrow. But I think it did really good for the first time. I mean, it really it pulled up a lot of that really nice, rich topsoil. Probably can't tell us better in the camera, but it really does look pretty good. So I'm happy because it still keeps some of the wood chips in the ground so it doesn't get too muddy, but um, it does get the majority. So I got it piled up over there for now. And I'll condense that pile tomorrow and then I'll kind of let the let it dry out and then I'll filter it in when I have a brush fire or something. So I'll pick this back up hopefully tomorrow, but we'll see. So just got to do this section right here. That's where the tractor sits. So kind of come down and clean this all out, pile it up and just pile it up and have a big old fire. So yeah. Hey everybody, we're back. <laughs> uh, it's not the next day, it's been probably about a week or so. Um, 
just work and weather. It's kind of a hard time to get back out here, but we're out here. So just got out of work and um, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna keep trying to rake some of this wood mulchings off and hopefully this week we can get some grass seed planted. So I'm just gonna put you back on the time lapse and uh, we'll get going. So that's one whole pass on the whole field. I'm pretty pleased with it. It really kind of helped to turn up some of the soil and then leave some, because I still want some, because it'll be good organic matter for the soil. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of hard to see from here, but I piled it all up in that general area over there. So I'm going to try to get it in a little better pile. Well. I decided to get the back laid out because I was having a hard time. There's too much mulch underneath my deck and it was raising my landscape right now. So all I did is turn it because it's a 365 uh, back way. And I just started it. I think it's going to work really well. So I'm going to try to kind of push it. I might even push the pile into the woods so I can get this all off the field site. Or excuse me, the uh, field for now so I can get grass back. But yeah, let's see what happens. I'm kind of excited. You may be wondering why there was a small fire next to that pile of mulch and really in all honesty i was really just trying to see if it would burn so i just wanted to test it so i made a little fire real quick um, while i was just taking a break and um, sure enough that stuff is the same as throwing water on a fire it does absolutely nothing it, it's a great fire uh, retarder not a fire starter so um, that was okay i kind of 
already, I had a feeling it was going to be that way. I just wanted to see just so I would know. So I'm just, like I said, I'm pushing this back into the woods and um, I'll either use it for trails or mulch of some kind or I'll find a purpose for it somewhere. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. There'll definitely be a part two to this video with working on the forester mulch field and that'll definitely be in the next week or so with uh, planting uh, uh, tall fescue grass seed like we did on the first part of the build site and uh, it'll hopefully turn out really well so stay tuned thanks for watching and I hope you have a blessed day